Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another bomb reading, Capricorn. I hope you're well. And uh, yeah, and Capricorn, we have somebody in this reading who is worth waiting for. This is my deck here if you guys want to get it. But definitely, you know, they're worth waiting for. And uh, we have something else really interesting, though. They need to release someone first. Yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, but before we begin, Capricorn, uh, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're accurate. I'm a silver grad. And you may get the, the tarot spread comes at the end of it. It's really a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and we, uh, we have fun on the phone. But you, you know, you get two different insights, two unique uh, divination, if you will, you get the clairvoyance in the first part. And in the second part, you get a psychic tarot reading. Yeah. And so, yeah, if you want a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense Capricorn, uh, that link is below as well. Okay. Yeah. So let's get into this Capricorn. And when we see they need to release somebody, but over here is turn away the hummingbird from infidelity so that love may blossom. Yeah, this person's with somebody and they're not in love with that person. And if they turn away and show up for you, then right, that's when they, you know, when they turn away from this person, that's when love can really blossom. So this is very clear here that your person is with somebody that they're not in love with. Yeah, and that's uh, the theme of this. Well, the real theme is that they're going to show up for you. It is. And we have the crab show your emotions and regenerate love. Yeah. Mm hmm. So yeah. And this is, sounds like a reconciliation to me. Right. And so we also have uh, Capricorn kind of in between those, right? We have the four of cups reversed here. This is the four of hearts in this particular deck. We're going to be using uh, the regular tarot. Don't, don't worry for some of you guys. And we have, let's have a look at that card reverse the four of so this is the, uh, the four of hearts in the upright, I feel like is a good card. Let's see what it means in the reverse, uh, in this reading. Yeah. It, because in the upright, it shows like, uh, it doesn't show the reversed. No. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. I'm sorry. In the upright, this is a card of a celebration, right? The drinking, but reversed, it shows somebody who's too hard to please. Or somebody who thinks that somebody's too hard to please. Yeah. It can also show a running out of luck with the jug turned upside down. Yeah. Somebody could be running out of luck here. They could, uh, maybe your person is in love with somebody that they can't not in love. They're not in love Capricorn, but maybe they're with somebody that they can't please. Right. That sounds, yeah. Yeah. So it could, it's possible here. Uh, it's also possible. Maybe they think you're, you're hard to please that that's unknown Capricorn. All right. And so, you know, let's have a look here. We have the visitor. This person's going to come visit you here. This is the Jack of clubs. He's known as the Knight of wands. He is. And this is the, these are the pairs and this is a visitor. So this person's coming to see you Capricorn. They are, uh, I feel like once they release this person and this could be, this could be in the mix right now. It could be, it could be happening right now. Uh, let's have a look at that Jack of Jack of clubs. Where is the Jack of clubs? Okay. All right. Here it is Capricorn. And, uh, yeah, the pairs, mm -hmm. the Jack of clubs foretells a dark featured young man or woman. Okay. It doesn't have to be in a general reading, you guys. And it doesn't, we don't know if they're fair or dark or or mixed. We don't know. Possibly a sibling. Okay. But to dream of pairs shows visitation of a friend or possibly business news on the way. They're coming, coming to visit you Capricorn. And this person is a friend. So they admire you or respect you as a friend. And then we have the six of hearts, uh, diamonds rather. This is a good luck card. It can talk about money. It definitely can. Uh, mm -hmm. and that card is, like the rabbit in Alice in Wonderland, this one is a sign for you to keep going. You're on the golden road. Yeah, it's a good luck card. Mm -hmm. It also foretells money. So this person's coming with some money, Capricorn. When paired with the Ten of Hearts, it predicts an early marriage. So we don't have that uh, here. No. Mm -hmm. Interesting here. Okay. 
So this person is coming to regenerate love with you, Capricorn. We're going to use two decks here today, and we're going to clarify each card just so we can, you know, no, let's see, because we feel like it, right, Capricorn? Yeah. Capricorn, if you didn't see my video on uh, the new moon in Aquarius, I have it uh, pinned yes uh in the in you know below in the comments i do and uh yeah we're gonna have a new video on virgo full moon in virgo which is gonna be interesting because <clears throat> virgo wants their life to really run well <clears throat> like a well-oiled machine their everyday life uh so for some they could be kind of eliminating things in their life that <clears throat> that just don't work kind of right it could be it can be about other things could be uh it depends on your house. So I go over, I go over all the 12 houses, right? And, and, you know, on your sign, you guys, the 12 signs, let's get into this two of Pentacles, five of swords. Look at that Capricorn. There's a burning building in the back and, uh, he's, you know, looks like the guy did it right. It does he stand in there? Like, mm -hmm. we're not saying anybody's starting a fire. No, we're not. Definitely not. Uh, but something's being kind of burned to the ground here, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. We have the Two of Pentacles clarified with, let's see, we'll use the itty cards, itty bitties. And here he is going back and forth about something. And uh, the bird's coming to him. It kind of looks like a crow. It's a black bird. So, uh, you know, he could be definitely about intelligence, right? Or about what do I do? Or what's going to happen to a pentacles is that energy. Three of swords. Wow. Clarifying that. And the five of swords. Clarified. Let's get a card on that five of swords. This looks like third party energy to me, right? And it is. They need to release someone right here. <clears throat> wheel of fortune in the upright oh this is a huge reading and here we have uh the queen of wands with the seven of six of wands the emperor the hierophant you guys sorry it's almost the same <laughs> not really the hierophant is there let's get a card on that and we have the four of swords clarifying ace of pentacles with the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. There you are, Capricorn. And unless you have another Earth sign with you, Knight of Swords. A lot of kings, queens, and knights in this reading. Yeah, definitely uh, talking about people for sure, different people. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Okay, and we have the Ten of Cups with the death card reversed. Yes, we do. Wow. This is a huge read. This is a, a huge reading here. And the overall energy is wondering here, uh, about some type of heartbreak or third party. Here he is going back and forth about that in the challenge. This man has defeated somebody. This is definitely a defeat. Sometimes talks about chaos and conflict, but the house is burned down over here. And you know, uh, and he has just, you know, caused that basically here we have the wheel of fortune with it. And so this sits in the challenge, this defeat, something was defeated. Maybe a Sagittarian was defeated. The queen of wands is next to it or a fire sign. This right here is I caused somebody heartbreak and I'm wondering now if, <clears throat> if like, if I can return yeah and whoever was heartbroken was the other person's fate and destiny in their heart yeah this reading looks like your person's with somebody else and that they're coming and that they're going to release that person and that they have hurt you in the past and they could be you, this could be switched though capricorn uh you know this is the energy of somebody going back and forth uh, you know, I've, I've caused heartbreak. I've, you know, I've, I've caused loss or defeat here. And can I overcome it with the six of wands in the, in the root? Can I overcome that? <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah. Can I have a victory now? And she's here talking to the young, to the young woman here. Oh, we could, yeah, it's a young woman. Uh, mm hmm. And they're friends. Yeah. We already have a friend. We have a friendship here. There's another card here that talks about friendship. Yeah, this card here, the six of diamonds, talks about somebody who's a friend. Yeah, this person's this person's asking themselves if Capricorn, if you will like, yeah, if they can kind of heal your heart. If you guys can just get back together and kind of start all over, they know they hurt you. Yeah. So here we have the Hierophant and the Four of Swords sits in the past. This can talk about this person thinking about marriage, definitely. This can talk about, I was, one of you were in this reflection and learned a lesson, learned, learned. The Hierophant is a teacher. Yeah, learned a lesson. Learned wisdom, learned, learned. It can also be somebody who said, uh, do I have the key possibly? He has the keys here. Do I have the key to this? One of you too, Capricorn, could have been in this introspection and went through an awakening and like changed your belief systems, your belief, the way you, right? Because this person feels like, you're the one and they don't want this to end. We have the death card reversed Capricorn. So there's some type of learning here in the past through like through introspection. They might've wondered here if I've grown here or, you know, uh, will Capricorn believe in me? <clears throat> There's definitely learning in the past here. These swords are about the mental realm here. And here's the Hierophant with it. So let's see. We have, maybe you were married to them before, possibly. But, you know, Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, Capricorn. And this is the mindset here. This is to have a passionate new opportunity and just to kind of go for it. The King of Wands is, you know, He's a fire sign. He says, I want that and I'm going for it. That's passionate for me. So I have the courage. That's really what it's about in the higher, in the higher energy or a fire sign in their higher, you know, in their higher self. So this, the mindset here is to have a stable new beginning <clears throat> and to take control and go do it, take action. And that's what, where's that here of it? I mean, not the here of it, the emperor. Okay. He's not here. No. Well, okay. Now, the near future Capricorn is uh, the Two of Wands with the Ace of, with the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is somebody who chooses you for their life. Here's the globe. He's holding the globe, right? Unless you get, they just want to take you on vacation, but I don't think so, Capricorn. Not in this reading. Show your emotions and regenerate love and turn away from infidelity so that love may blossom. No. And we've already seen this Ace of Pentacles. I'm just having fun here, right? And maybe they want to go on a trip with you, <laughs> right? And uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, you know, this is uh, definitely a choice where this person's taking action on the choice. The wands are about movement. And the twos are choices. This is somebody definitely take, this person's taking action on the choice. And they want you in their world, Capricorn. And here you are confirming that. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the concerning theme here in the reading is the Six of Swords. He's going back. He's not going away. You can see his face this time, and he's coming back. So he's leaving. It looks like he's leaving the choppy waters. <clears throat> it does look like that. But he's returning, and here's the Knight of Swords. This, that, this reading is concerning itself with this person returning so they can regenerate their love with you or regenerate your love. 
Yeah. Or both. Right? And in the environment, Capricorn, we see the seven, this man looking at his seven of pentacles. He's always looking at his money bush, right? This can be, you know, about investing in somebody in the environment. This person might be wondering when we see the two of pentacles to start the reading, or you are wondering if this investment is like worth it, if you'll want them, right? Because there was a defeat here. There was a loss. There was chaos in the very, in the very, the minimum here, there was chaos, chaos and conflict. So here we have in the environment, seven of pentacles with three of pentacles. This is wondering if this, if this is going to work out or if the other person will work with me, three of pentacles. Yes. And here's the ghost flying by. Yeah, it's really interesting here. So. Uh, you know, this person might be feeling that they could be afraid of you a little bit. It's possible in this reading that I feel like they are a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they need to release somebody here and they know that, you know, so here we have the fool and the six of cups. This is returning. This is somebody who takes a chance. One of you is taking a chance here on this somebody from the past it looks like for sure six of cups but there's a friendship here and there's this really special feeling here and we know that because we have the wheel of fortune and we have the ten of cups and we have the ace of pentacles in the reading yeah and so in the outcome capricorn the potential outcome here is the happily ever after card, the 10 of cups with the death card reversed. This person's coming here. They're happily ever after, and they don't want it to end. And something went on in the past, but yeah, definitely here. This person does not want this to end. This might be your energy, but in this reading, there does definitely look like there's a happily ever after in this reading for sure. That's going to take place. Yeah. And this person is going to release somebody. We have their worth waiting for right here. They're worth waiting for because they want to regenerate this love and they're sorry for what they did. <clears throat> this is sorry. This is like knowing that this is somebody who grew up with the hierophants that's sitting in the past. I learned, I became wiser here. Can be, I changed the way I believe here. I believe in. <clears throat> maybe integrity or I believe in you. Definitely. They believe in you. And here they are. I feel like this person's wondering if you're going to believe in them. So we're going to end this reading Capricorn. It's really beautiful and interesting too. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.